Yo. Welcome to today's Synfig tutorial. So today I'm going to take a different approach. Typically I would show you step by step how to create something, but today um, I'm going to do that in reverse. So it's already created and I'm going to show you how it was done. All right. Now, if you look at my screen here, you can already recognize that you've seen this before. And this was in my project video that I uploaded recently. I used it in the background quite a lot. And it's just a simple pattern that plays in the background. Um, so yeah, let's jump into it. Uh, so I'm going to turn off most of these folders here and leave this one on. So the first thing I, that I did was to create a vertical line. And this was done using the spline tool. I just place one point there, and place another there. And that's what you see here now. So very, very simple, nothing too difficult. And when I was done with that, I created one and then I um, duplicated them and placed them all over the scene here. But I made sure to turn on the grid so that I could have everything line up accurately. But if you don't really care about, you know, having equal space in between the lines, you can just duplicate them and place them wherever you want. So yeah, so that's how that was done. And uh, I placed these lines within a group here and just named it so that I can tell what it is. That's it for that folder. The next thing that I did was to create these rectangles here. And I, of course, I didn't create all of these rectangles. I duplicate, I created one and then duplicated them. And um, if, if I should play this, you can see that the rectangles are moving up, at, up and down. And I'll, of course, show you how that was done. I'm pretty sure you can already guess how it was done. Uh, so yeah, I created a rectangle using the rectangle tool here. And uh, I created it using only a region layer type. And uh, let me turn on back my vertical lines here so you can see what's happening. So what I did was to place the rectangle within two lines, like so. And uh, that's easy to do. I just simply move the origin point over onto the line here. But you can also move the, the points and place them onto the line, right? Whichever way you prefer. And also, I, I before I moved it though, I used the points here and got the origin point somewhere into the center here. Right? That's not a must, but I like to be able to, I like my origin point somewhere close so I can easily move the entire thing when I want to. So that's what I did. Now, if I turn on this one, you can see that it's pretty much the same rectangle. I just skipped a space and placed it here. Right? So most of these are some of these, some I only have one, some I have two, some I have more than two, right? For this one, I think it's three, right? Yeah, three. So I skipped the space for most of these and placed them on their own line, right? And that's a stylistic choice. And I also had some where I placed them close to each other, right? Where I didn't skip a line. So if I should turn on these, you can see that this one is right next to this and this one is also right next to this so i didn't skip a line right so i mixed i mixed the the ones where they are close to each other with the ones where there's a space between them right just to give it a different feel and also for this rectangle i changed the the height so as you can see it's smaller than the rest of these rectangles and that's pretty much how i did the rest of these i just duplicated the rectangle and placed them. Now, before I duplicated them, should have said this before, but when I created this very first one, I went into the properties and on its origin, I converted that to a composite. And when you do that, if you've been following my tutorials, you will get two different variables here, or two different uh, values here, the X and the Y. And I wanted it to move up and down only on the y-axis. So I converted the y-axis to, to a random. So that's why it's moving up and down. It's actually moving randomly up and down, right? So I did that before I duplicated, each, duplicated it and moved them over to their own line. Now, you might be wondering how that was done. Uh, because once you add a converter to a... Um, 
the origin point here there's no way to move it so if you move it you get an error error message like that right so i used the points i used the points around the origin so i selected those and just move them over onto their own line like so so that was pretty easy right another way you could do it is just to duplicate duplicate it before you apply the converters and then go on each of them and apply um, apply the the converters to them if you want the um, origin point to stay in the in the center there right or you could place each of them in a group and then um, duplicate the group and place them all over but I didn't want to go that route because I didn't want too many groups right I wanted each of these to be within one group right so there are you know different ways that you could approach that but um, that's how I did it so once you put them together you'll get them moving like that and to save myself some work I just duplicated this folder and then moved it over a bit like so so that's that's how I did this entire thing here and added a background once you let me turn off the grid here and once you had a background and you get something cool like this so it looks even better with a background and the cool thing about doing it this way of course it's easy to change the background color so we can just go here and change the color and it's very it's also very easy to change the the colors of the blocks right now if you had placed each of these in individual folders you'd have to go inside each of those folders and select the layer to change the color right but because these are all in here I can select all of these and just change the color all at once so let me demonstrate that right now so I select all of those and well let me go ahead and select these now because these are in separate folders I can't just hold down um, shift and select all of these so I'll have to hold on the control key and left click on each of these and of course I could have just um, selected these change the color and then come here and just select these separately and change the color but I wanted to select them all at once so look how easy it is to change the color like so there we go very very easy and also what i did in my video i just lowered the opacity because you don't want it too bright especially if you decide to put information on top of it so i lowered the opacity by I'm not sure how much i did but something like this right so whatever information you place on top of it it will be able to you will be able to see it right and of course I think it looks better with the lines so if you take out the lines you get something like this yeah it doesn't really look all that great right so I would say use the lines and uh, yeah that's how I created the I'm gonna call them the vertical lines or moving vertical lines right very simple very easy especially when working with synfig and that's why, why I like using synfig it's easy to create things like these to be used in other um projects okay so that's it for this video hope you learned something hope this um is of some value to you and uh, i'll see you in the next video yo kemari yo kemari